An interesting moment occurred on The View, the show um, on ABC, where one of the hosts, a former Trump aide, kind of makes the distinction from her perspective of the semi-fascist label. And she thinks that applies nicely to, nicely, that applies, you know, accurately to Trump, but she doesn't believe it applies to the voters. So we'll discuss um, what she says here afterwards, but let's take a look. My only counterpoint is this. So I actually agreed with the substance of his speech about democracy. And, and there's polling from NBC, 57% of Americans think the threat to democracy is one of the most important things the nation's facing. I take a little bit of issue with him broadly applying the term semi-fascist to Republicans. Do I think Donald Trump's to a semi-fascist? To MAGA Republican. Okay, Republican. be specific. Okay, that's true. Right. I think Donald Trump is. I think the vast majority of his supporters are not. I think they are good people who want an economy that works for them, who saw more money in their paycheck under Donald Trump. And my fear is this. I think Biden wants to be a uniter, but I don't think that that speech was uniting. It reminds me a bit, we have him on the show later this week, Charlie Crist, after he was got the nomination to run against Governor DeSantis, he said, I don't want DeSantis supporters with hate in their heart. Well, you can interpret that a few ways, but if you're saying all DeSantis supporters have hate in their heart, that's not going to well, win people. To so, okay. Um, before I move on, I want to say generally when you look at an action by a president, I kind of just have to decide, decide net good, net bad. And I thought uh, Biden's speech was a massive net good. But let's say that I was working along some side, Biden could give him advice and could have changed something he did. I have many critiques, um, as I do with everything all the time. <laughs> uh, and so some of what she's saying there, I actually agree with. Do I think sh uh, Biden should have strayed away from at all labeling that movement as semi-fascist? No. What I think he could have done is almost speak to the movement a little bit more instead of just speaking about the movement, if that makes sense. So many, many times he talked about the MAGA Republicans being against democracy, being um, somewhat fascist, all of those things. And I think that's great to say because it's true. But as far as a message, like a message, I said that so weird, a message, uh, it's not actually the most effective to get everyone on board because very, very liberal people and people who are very concerned with that threat to our, to our democracy will resonate. So that's good. And you're saying the truth. So that's good. But then you lose some people, I think, some more moderate Republicans, for example. So how could you frame that a little bit better? I think if he spoke multiple times directly to MAGA Republicans and said, listen, you support leaders and you support an ideology that is against democracy. You stand for um, a, a belief system that wants to deteriorate what we have upheld for so long in America. And you need to be aware of that. And I call you to action. I call you to stand against that movement. So in that way, you're still calling the movement semi-fascist against democracy, dangerous, without it only being an us-them. Does that make sense? Even though it is them who <laughs> makes up that movement. But a lot of them, as I think she's saying, um, I would say, you know, almost all of them are just living in their own life, trying to get by, are super misinformed. And so in their mind, they're not against democracy. In their mind, the election was stolen from Trump. Which, of course, we understand why it's absurd to believe that, but you also don't exist in their social media space where they're being propagandized and they can't get out of it. Uh, they could, but they're, they're not getting out of it as of now. And so trying to, not that you're going to do this effectively, but at least the aesthetic of trying to reach out to them uh, or call them to action while still being very blunt, I think would have been great. But overall, um, if you're speaking the truth, you're speaking the truth. And Biden was speaking the truth. So you're always going to get credit for that. Um, and then there will always be messaging difference that, differences that you could have made. Um, and so her saying, listen, call Trump as aggressively as you want, semi-fascist, do it, beautiful. And then, I don't know if she would agree with this, but I would say, you, MAGA Republicans, are supporting a semi-fascist, and anti-democratic ideology, belief system, and leader. And um, that is dangerous. You are actively working against our democracy. All those things, just like say it at them and say it in a way that is almost calling them out of it. That's what I think would have been the absolute most effective, even though I think the strength and tone of his speech, um, as well as the content of it, largely was just absolutely wonderful. And I think it was one of his best speeches, and it was definitely super historic. So uh, interesting moment on The View there, and let me know what you guys think. Any criticisms of 
Biden's speech or of my criticisms of Biden's speech, let me know in the comments.